hello. Yesterday. No, that, that's not even what yesterday. Where did I get yesterday? Literally five minutes ago, I finished filming the first episode of the series. We were with the Vorhands. So it's 5 a.m. We just saw what was going on within these two households. But now we're going to turn to the very next household next door. The very next household next door. This is the Range Rat household. We have Bernice Range Rat, his eldest son Kent Range Rat, and his daughter Alice Range Rat. This is their home. It's they're they're not uh they're not doing the best. But Bernice is actually engaged to this woman named Jessica. Jessica's a more wealthy woman. Kent and Alice are not too happy about her because they both believe that she's just trying to get to this bit of property because they they heard a rumor that there's some oil on the property or something and that Jessica's just trying to get to it. Whether or not that's true isn't clear, but for the moment, Bernice seems quite intent on marrying Jessica, and you'll notice Jessica's daughter is actually Maris. Maris is the girl that Antonio saw yesterday, and you'll notice Kent here. Kent is actually a part of the Eastland Ingle, the Eastland, the Eastland Ingle, the Eastland Eagles. Words are easy for me. He's part of the Eastland Eagles, which is the opposing basketball team to the Westward Wolverines, which is the basketball team Antonio is a part of. They have a very heated clashing. So that will be some fun drama. He, why did I give him the villainous Valentine? He's, I guess because he's trying to break up his dad. I'm going to have him cook. I think he'd cook. He's a vegetarian. Kent's already got the mischief skill apparently. He, he's just going to keep, he's going to keep mischiefing. I think mischief suits him. Bernice has made everyone some grilled cheese for breakfast. It's an interesting breakfast choice for sure. Now her, I believe I wanted her to be a ballerina. She wants to play an instrument. I don't know if y'all can afford an instrument, but maybe I can find somewhere for you to play an instrument somewhere else. He wants to stay outside for five hours. He's sort of a beach bum, Bernice, Ber Bernice is. He really likes the beach. He would prefer to live on the beach. He probably did when he was younger. At some point, he met a woman who convinced him to live not on the beach that he had his two kids with. They're just enjoying some family time. That's nice. Kent and Alice are both about to go to school, and I think I will take that opportunity to have Bernice go meet his fiance. Both kids are at school. We're going to tell them to make friends because you have to have relationships to have drama. Bernice is going to eat a sandwich. And now that Bernice is actually alone for a while, I'm going to let him watch TV a little bit. But actually, no, I'm not. We're going to travel with Jessica somewhere. Where do we go? The strip mall is really the only place, I think. And that'll be nice because this is the first time we've actually been to the strip mall. And I'm very excited to actually see it used. It's one of my favorite builds that I did on here. And I'm just keep talking because the loading screen yay we're here so this is the strip mall the dark cloudy day so you can't really see it in all its glory but there's a lot of different shops this is a seafood restaurant which i think i will have them focus in on that particular aspect of it here they are this is jessica tone his fiance so let's have them sit together in here you can do it jessica Come on. Oh, look, they're actually sitting together. That's nice. Uh, and apparently they just switched chairs for no apparent reason. Oh, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, Catherine's here. I'm just going to speed a little bit for the state for them. It seems to be going well. What's happening out here? Is in? Is there any Sims anywhere doing anything? Someone's in the karate dojo. But... They're, they're enjoying their time. He has to use the restroom. Why do I have to hire the person? Why are you in the girls' bathroom? That is the girls' bathroom. Come use the men's bathroom. You're not supposed to see the glory of the girls' bathroom. I have the doors switch. I have the doors switch. No, that is incorrect. All right, we fixed the catastrophe. We fixed it. It's okay. He accidentally walked into the girls' bathroom. That was embarrassing, but he can come laugh about it. They can still 
enjoy themselves. The barista is here. Order a drink for here. You need an espresso in order. He's not really hungry, so he's just gonna get a drink. I do see some activity. Catherine's in here shopping for clothes. The mayor. It's the mayor. <laughs> the mayor's working at the clothes shop, apparently. Oh, the karate dojo man is very angry about something. He's ordering more food. Oh, he turned on the radio. That's a good idea. I forgot I put a radio in here. She is dancing. He probably should dance with her. Oh, and she stopped dancing to go get her drink. That's fine. Oh, it's the owner of the restaurant. This is the owner of the restaurant. He's not a part of the rotation. He's just a townie. But this is a uh, Garth Sailman. He's a fisherman and he does all the fishing because this is technically a seafood restaurant in my head canon. The kids are about to get home, so I'm going to send him home. He's got the dance skill. Oh, and Kent's done, and and Alice is done with school. I need to figure out how to have them actually try to sabotage the wedding, because that needs to happen. Kent knows he just got home, so I think Kent's going to express some aggravation. This random guy is just going to stand between them, apparently. They're arguing. Yep. Alice is eating and enjoying a good meal. Now Kent, as I mentioned, also has his own thing, so we're going to travel. We're going to travel to the same place that Antonio traveled because he has to have an after-school practice too. So hopefully they won't actually run into each other because then things would be ugly. To the hang we go. Up oh, here we are, but we need to start gathering. It didn't start automatically like the other one did. Up oh, and here's his mem- oh, it's Antonio. Antonio's here. Oh, wait, these two are part of- these are- this is the other team. That's the other team. Uh-oh. Well, now everyone's gotta start being mean to each other. Who's this? Oh, it's the coach to the other team. Now they've horned in on the space. And this invisible man, he's probably not gonna yell actually at the coach, but who's here? Okay, so this is a girl who's on Kent's team. Haley Hats, she's incredibly boring. Cameron from Mars, there's rumors going around that he is actually an alien. Uh, those rumors probably aren't true. And then we have Nikki Nale, Nale, Nikki Nale, who is an exchange student living with uh, Cameron and his family. Uh, they are, they aren't a part of the rotation, but they are uh, in townies. And this right here is their coach, Madison Virgat. She's a very rough coach, and he actually wanted to talk with the coach, so I'm gonna have him do that. Everyone's being civil so far, but I'm gonna put an end to that. Let's give a rude introduction to all of the other team. Some rude introductions. We're insulting him, being ugly. We gotta be ugly to the other team. That's how that works. No sportsmanship. It's time to be mean. Rile up. Let's have a fight. Oh. They've... They've gotten into a fight. Oh, he lost. That's sad. They now despise each other, and he doesn't feel so good. Oh, and now he's really sad. He's got a moon swing from that. I think it's time for him to go home. It's 8 o'clock. It's past 8 o'clock. So, their gathering has ended. He needs to go home. He's not had a very good day. He, his, he's got his dad marrying someone he doesn't like. Then he got beat up by the other team. Although, he, uh, technically, he did uh, pick that fight. But So, he's home now. He's completely exhausted. So, I think he's just going to dramatically cry about life. Yes, that feels very fitting for right now. He's going to dramatically cry. You do that. Just walk through the wall. That's right. Excellent. What's Alice doing? You can hear him crying from the den. Alice really wants to play an instrument. Bernice, he's feeling flirty, so I'm gonna have him um, chat with Jessica on the phone. In in your sleeping son's bedroom? Really? Really? Was this necessary? Was it? Simmering rage. He's definitely doing this on purpose. 100% he's doing this on purpose. Alice is just in here watching TV. She's coping with things as well as she can. She's watching sports. I don't think you'd watch sports. I think watch world world culture. What is that even? That was sports. I don't think she would like sports, but I don't actually know. 
She has the rambunctious scamp one. Oh, and they have homework. I forgot they both have homework. Alice probably needs to do her homework. Do your homework. Kent did not do his homework. He is not as on top of things as Antonio is. Uh, apparently, she isn't either because she's just going to stay up. She, she intends to do her homework, but she's watching TV and talking with her dad instead, and it's like midnight, so she really has to go to bed. Bernice has reached the parenting skill. That's good. That's nice. I'm not gonna make Alice do her homework. She just wants to sit there and watch TV. That's fine. I'm not particularly worried about their grades, to be honest. I don't think either of them would be very intent on being A-plus students. Just go to sleep. Everyone go to sleep. Oh, and it's Valentine's Day. She discovered a monster, but she doesn't seem that concerned about it. I'm gonna have her day at a shower. Take a cautious shower. Cause you're scared. She's gonna wash away the monster. He's a feeling angry. Come get some leftovers. Uh, we probably do need to get your radio so she can learn the dance skill. Okay, we're gonna get a radio. We only have $500. We're gonna buy this little radio. We're gonna put it this radio is not little. Where am I gonna put this radio? I guess I'm just gonna have to cram it in right there. Okay, she's gonna come wind down with classical. And if I can, I'm gonna try to get her to learn the dance skill. Listen deeply and then, can you dance? She's listening deeply. That's the closest I can see that I can make her dance. Alice is left for school. Kent is going to be late. Okay, Kent's going to school, but I'm gonna... Oh, school flower fundraiser. In honor of Valentine's Day, Alice's school always allows students to buy flowers to be delivered to each other during class. With some money to spend, Alice decides to take advantage of the fundraiser and celebrate the holiday. Does she want to buy flowers for everyone or buy flowers for herself? Oh, very, they are very poor. They are very poor. But spending a lot of money could be her way of rebelling against the wedding that is happening. Buy for everyone. Oh, uh, Kent, during our Kent's class, was instructed to, uh, instructed to create flower-themed cards for each other. I do not think he would like that. After gathering glitter-colored pencils, construction paper pencils, and fuzzy... This is not his kind of thing. Hilarious, because I don't think he'd be genuine. You know what he would do? He would make cards making fun of his dad and his dad's girlfriend. Alice decided to surprise the entire class with flowers while sitting in math. Each flower was hand-delivered, taking enough time to get them out of the test. That's nice. Apparently Kent isn't funny. He got sent to the guidance counselor after making fun of his dad in Valentine's Day cards. He's very sad about his festive flop. I'm gonna have him uh, slack off. Bernice, I'm gonna let him eat and then invite Jessica to hang out here. He did that from the toilet. Very romantic. And then we're gonna ask her out on a date. Probably to the same place. Hello, romance. Ask on date. Where do they go on their romantic date on Valentine's Day? Do I want to just send him to here as per typical or do I want to pick somewhere else. Should they go out? No, I just don't, I just don't like the pre-made places because I'm so used to them. I, I'm just gonna go here. I'll replace some of the places in the other worlds eventually and we'll be able to have more variety. But for right now, we're just going to stick with the, the little fun little fish restaurant. Romance. They're officially on a date. They're in, just enjoying themselves. Oh, here, the little bench. Sit together on the bench. Oh, there's the mayor again. It's almost Alice's birthday. Let's see if I can have him give her anything. Give romantic gift. Mac and cheese. Here's a romantic gift of mac and cheese. For me, a plate of leftover mac and cheese? I adore it. I'll wear it on my wrist. Try to complete a couple more of these things and then I think we'll call it an end of the day. The kids are gonna be coming back home. Oh, but they are already done. So the date needs to end. Let's just switch instead of waiting for him to get home. Just go ahead and switch to see what the kids are doing. Yeah, I'm gonna have Kent. Uh, can I just start a gathering? Gather at the hang? We're gonna go to another practice. See what we can accomplish. It looks like it might just be us today. So everyone's immediately started their workouts. Let's see if we can just be 
friendly with our own people and see if we can establish relationships with them. Complain about Valentine's Day because you haven't enjoyed it very much. He wants to play a competitive game. So let's challenge, let's challenge him to, a, to hoops. Hopefully that's a friendly interaction. Their coach scares me. I guess she's joined in as well. Haley. Catherine just seems to be everywhere. How are you everywhere, Catherine? Henry Landgrab is here. I wonder if he's thinking of trying to take up the, the hang area. They very much like this area, so I don't think they'd appreciate anyone taking it away. Let's just keep socializing. I think that Cameron should be our best friend. Let's give him a funny gift, the funny gift we gave everyone else, and see if he thinks that it's funny. Oh, he didn't think he didn't think it was funny. What are you tense about? Feel bitter? Who's here that you feel bitter towards? Oh, they are here. They've come. It's it's literally the one guy that he really can't stand as well. Flick knows you can't just let him be here without doing something. It's, oh. They're at it again. They've got the whole team riled. He lost again, Kent. That's sad. That is just sadness. Once again, they all have to go home. The fight just ended. Everyone just has to go home now again because of Kent and Joshua. Let's go see what Bernice and Alice are doing. You know what I think Alice should be doing? I don't think she'd outright argue with her dad, but I think she will start planting little seeds of doubt about his relationship with Jessica. I think she'd be a little bit more clever and manipulative about it. So Bernice is here, I'm gonna have him come sit, and then I'm gonna have Alice start making some very cleverly placed comments about uh, his wife. Complain about Valentine's Day. Complain about the cold. The cold of Jessica. Oh, someone's calling him though. Oh, this is the lady that owns the grocery store. Hey Bernice, I think I have a crush on Gaylord McIrish, which is another person we, that is included on our rotation. Do you think it's worth a try? I would say yes. That's interesting. That would be an interesting couple. couple. But back to uh, her being manipulative. Enthused about candy, not about Jessica. Jessica. Give fake bad news about Jessica. Afif Moon is an egg. She's doing weird mind games now. Hug lovingly. The final nail in the coffin of her mental chess match that she's doing. She's very clever. Who is this? Become friends with She wants to become friends with Jessica. I think I think he just convinced her to like Jessica. I think he just won her over. I think I think he caught on and he actually turned this on her now. And now she actually she wants to be friends with Jessica now. That was unexpected. You know what? I have here's an idea. Let's have him invite Jessica over. It's nine o'clock, so I don't know if she wait. She's here. She's already here. We'll okay then. Cook together with Jessica. He and Jessica are going to make a meal. The chocolate cake for her birthday tomorrow. Alice's birthday. Well, this has been a strange turn of events. This did not go the way that I expected it to. She is going to start being friendly with her. She's going to tell her about her favorite band. She's apparently not very good at cooking. Oh, what was that? I don't know what that was for, but they enjoyed that. Share Valentine's Day excitement. She's suddenly excited for the wedding. This is how, this is the turn. This is the turn of events. I don't know what they keep celebrating. I guess it's for, the, for her birthday because they're making her a cake. I guess Kent didn't go home actually. He, it's because it's 11 o'clock now, so he must be sneaking out somewhere. Oh, I got in a fight with someone at school about which boy critter is more powerful. I said it was the ant coin, but he kept saying, Zunitor, which one is it? I think they just agree with her. They have her on their side right now. They don't need to start arguing with her. Finish the cake. Okay, this cake is probably not realistically actually going to make it to the birthday. But, oh, Kent's finally come home. Kent has come home just in time to see Jessica leave. And he is very late, so I think serious arguing is in tow. 
We're just gonna have him keep doing mean interactions for a little while before he goes to bed. Rile up and then go to sleep. Kent, you go to sleep in your own bed. Alice is also gonna go to sleep. I don't, I don't even care that, yeah. Everyone's asleep. The night is passing. Valentine's Day successful. Valentine's Day was awful to Kent. Uh, Alice also thinks Valentine's Day was awful, but that's just probably because she doesn't have her own person. That's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, whenever the next episode is, we're going to be playing with the veteran Plank household. Uh, I am excited about the twist and turn that was this episode of Alice suddenly becoming on board with the wedding. That was interesting. Jesus loves you. Goodbye.